you and your team and the people of God in the name of Jesus. People of God, let's begin to worship our Father. Oh, hallelujah. Stand, stand, stand with me. Let's begin to worship him. Let's begin to praise our God. Let's begin to magnify his name. The Father of all fathers, hallelujah. Let's begin to praise him. Join me to praise him. I love praising the Father. I love worshiping him. For our God is good. Our God is faithful. Our God is merciful and kind. Let's praise him. Let's praise him. Praise him. Oh, praise him. Praise him. Join me to praise him. Let's praise the Father, the Father of all flesh. Praise him with me. Praise him. I love praising Jesus. Shika, shika, shika. Praise him. Praise him. Ah, praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Agune Chemba. The one that is praised as food. Praise him. Join me to praise him. For when you praise him, the impossible becomes possible. When you praise him, the crooked becomes straight. When you praise him, the hopeless case begins to turn around. Praise him. Praise him. Join me to 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 praise him. The lion of the tribe of Judah. You praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Papa, papa. Papa, papa. of God. Praise him. Praise the Father. Praise him. Praise him. Join me to praise him. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ba -ba 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 -ba. He's calling us to come up higher. To come up higher. To come up higher. God is calling us to come up higher. The people that go higher are praisers. They are worshippers. They are people that worship. They are people that praise. Because if you are going to be lifted, if you are going to go higher, your praise must be in your mouth. Praise must be in your mouth. Join me to praise him. Let's 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 praise him. Praise him with me. Praise him with me. Join me to praise him. The lion of the tribe of Judah. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Let's praise the Father from whom all blessings come. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Join me to praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Ta 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 Continue to praise him. Continue to praise him. Continue to praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Continue to praise God. Continue to praise him. Our God is good. Our God is good. Continue to praise him with me. Continue to praise him. We serve a living God. We serve a covenant keeping God. We serve a merciful God. We serve a God that is kind. Continue to praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Oh, hallelujah. Praise him. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. Continue to praise God. For our God is good. He is good. He is good. He is good. He is good. Keep praising him. Keep praising him. For those who praise him lack nothing. They lack nothing. Continue to praise him. Our God is good. Our God is good. Praise him. Ba 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 ba. One tapi. Supreya kuta. Esekete pro po 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 po. If you can pray in tongues, pray in tongues. Let Let's open up this meeting. Let's open it up with praise and thanksgiving. We are going higher. We are going higher. We are going higher. We are going higher. 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 We are going higher. We are going higher. 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 Higher in God. Higher. God is calling up. Up. Higher. He's calling us to a higher place in him. And we are going. We are saying yes. Are you going to say yes to God's calling? Of Allah, so to, to, to. God is calling you to a higher place in him. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready to go higher and higher and higher and higher? No stopping. No stopping. No stopping. No stopping us. We are going higher and higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. Higher in God, higher. Ba 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 ba. Pray, pray, pray. We are going higher, 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 higher. Nothing can stop us. God is calling us to a higher call. It's a higher calling, and we are saying yes. We are saying yes. Ah, oh, higher. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. Thank you, Father. Praise Him. Praise Him. People of God, praise Him. It's a higher call. It's a higher call. It's a higher call. We say yes. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. Thank you. Thank you, Father. In the holy name of Jesus.
Our God is so faithful. I love the title of this conference. Oh, hallelujah. Come up hither. God is calling us to come up. He's calling us to come up. It's a special invitation. Revelation chapter 4 verses 1. God Almighty is calling us higher. If you have your Bible, go with me to Revelation 4, 1. And the Bible says, After this I looked, and there before me was a door standing open in heaven. There was an open door. This door was standing open in heaven. And the voice I first heard, speaking to me like a trumpet, said, Come up higher, and I will show you what must take place after this. Come up higher. Come up higher. God is calling us to a higher call. It's a higher calling. God is saying, I want you to come up higher. Why is God at this time asking us to come up higher? Why is he calling you to come up higher? Could it just be that where you are seated is not where you are supposed to be at this time? Why will God Almighty be calling us to a higher calling? God is calling us to a higher calling because he is tired of seeing us sitting in the place where we are not supposed to sit, where we are not supposed to be. God is saying, it's time for you to move up closer. It's time for you to come up a bit higher. It's time for you to leave that thing that you've been doing. It's time for you to leave that place you've been sitting. God Almighty is saying, I am calling you at this time to come out into a praise Jesus. If you are going to take that higher position, if you are going to go to that higher place, the first thing you must do is change your prayer life. How is your prayer life? Some of us don't even have a prayer life anymore. How is your prayer life? You can see that the apostle was already in a position of prayer. He was already in the position of prayer when God decided to pull him higher. How is your prayer life? You cannot go higher if your prayer life is not in order. The Bible tells us that prayer is the link through which we can connect with God. Your prayer life must be intact. Your prayer life must be in order if you are going to come up higher. God is calling you and I to a higher calling. We, Papa Kosototo, I want you to pray. I want you to take this first prayer point with me. Say, Father, I say yes to the call for prayer. The call for prayer. The call for prayer. Get up and begin to pray. Pray with me. God is calling you. It's time to wake up. It's time to pray. Ba 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 ba. God is calling you to prayer. It's time for prayer. Hey, pa 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 pa. It's time for prayer. Pukachuka, pray for yourself. Say yes, Father. I answer your call for prayer. God is calling us to prayer. He's calling us to the altar of prayer. You cannot go up higher without a prayer life or a prayer life that is inconsistent. He can't take you higher. Begin to pray. Pray, pray for yourself. Ba 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 ba. God is calling you to a life of prayer. Are you gonna say yes to prayer? Ba 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 ba. Yonta bostiaka. We say yes to prayer. We say yes to prayer. That's the first key. If you are going to go higher, if you are going to go higher, you have to connect through prayer. Ba 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 ba. Pray. Ba ba two. Ba 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 ba. Prayer is your connection to. To the higher place, pa 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 pa
call for prayer. Pa 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 If you are going to go higher, you must be a praying man or woman. You can't go higher if you don't walk up prayer as a part of your life. Pray! In the name of Jesus. Come up hither. Come up. God is calling us to come up higher. Before you can go up higher, the second thing you need is a relationship with the Spirit of God. Do you have a relationship with the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit of God is here and He is here to help us. He is here to guide us. He is here to lead us. If you go with me to the book of John, hallelujah, John chapter 16. John 16, 13. John 16, verses 13. The Bible says, However, when he, the spirit of all truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth, for he will not speak of his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will tell you things that are to come. If you don't have a Holy Spirit relationship with the Spirit of God, you can't go higher. The Spirit of God is the one that God sent to guide us into all truth. The Spirit of God is the one that is here to lead us into all truth. The Spirit of God is the one that is here to take you by the hand. The Bible says, when he shall come, he will guide you into all truth. He will show you things that are to come. How can you know the things that are to come if you don't have a relationship with the Spirit of God? The Holy Spirit is the one that is here to guide you, to show you, to show you which way to go, to direct your footsteps. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray. Hallelujah. Pray. It's time to reconnect with the Spirit. The Spirit is all already waiting for you to reconnect. Are we going to reconnect? Begin to pray. Pray in the language of the Holy Spirit. Say, Holy Spirit, I am sorry for ignoring you. I am sorry for not developing my association and my relationship with you. But I am ready. I am ready. Begin to pray. 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 Pa, 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 pa. Pa, 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 pa. Spirit of God, renew my relationship with you. I need you. I need you, Holy Spirit. I cannot do it without you. I cannot go anywhere without you. Holy Spirit, help me. The Spirit of God is the one that is here. His responsibility is to help you. His responsibility is to take you by the hand. The responsibility of the Spirit of God is to guide you into all truth. If you don't cultivate that relationship with him, how are you going to make it? This journey of life can become one kind. I'm telling you, it can become one kind. If you don't have that connection, if you don't have that relationship with him, what are you going to do when the storms come? Pray! Reconnect! 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 We are reconnecting! We are reconnecting! Holy Spirit, we want to reconnect with you! Reconnect! It's time to reconnect! 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 The Spirit of God is here. His job is to guide you into all truth. The Spirit of God is the sure guide. I say He's a sure guide. He will guide you into all truth. For he will show you what you are to know. He will guide you. There is no truth that you are looking for. Which the Holy Spirit does not know. And he will guide you. If you will allow him. If you will allow the Spirit to guide you. Then he will guide you into truth. And you will be saved from a lot of troubles. You know our problems. Our sufferings. Is because we don't have a relationship with the Spirit. When you develop a relationship with the Spirit. He will take over. He will guide you into 
into all truth. Hallelujah. Many dark hours that we face is because we don't ask him the way. If we ask him the way, he will show us the way. Lot would never have gone to Sodom if he had asked the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. He would never, never, never have gone to Sodom because he would have known that Gomorrah will swallow him up. Kata, 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 kata. Pray, 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 pray. Say, Holy Spirit, Allah to, to, to help me. Help me. Draw me back. Draw me back. Draw me back. David will never have fallen into sin, taking another man's wife. Hallelujah. If he had been guided by the Spirit of God, and that almost destroyed him. Hey, papa, 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 papa. There are many lots and many Davids in our midst that are so disobedient. The churches are full of them. People who will not obey the spirit. Men and women walking in total darkness because they are not willing to be guided by the spirit of God. Pray! Take yourself out. Take yourself out. Reconnect to the spirit. If you reconnect, you will not fall. You will not fall. Reconnect. The fire generation are people who walk with the spirit. I said the fire generation are men and women that walk with the spirit, that obey the spirit, that honor the spirit. Those are the fire generation. Pray, 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 pray. Pa, 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 pa. I will not fall. I'm not going to fall. Pray for yourself. Pa, 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 pa. Come up here. You can't go any here anywhere if you don't have a relationship with the Spirit of God. He's the one that raised Jesus from the dead. If he did that for Jesus, who do you think you are that you're going to make it without the Holy Ghost? Pray. If that's all you get from this conference, then go and practice it and your life will be changed. Hey, pa, 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 Holy Spirit. Oh, pa, pa, pray, 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 pray. Pa, 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 You must renew your relationship with the Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Begin to thank him, thank him, thank him. Praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him. Pa, 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 pa. Hey, pa, 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 Thank you, Jesus. Our God is so faithful. Our God is merciful and kind. You have renewed your relationship with the spirit of Jesus, the spirit of life. The next thing I want to remind us, hallelujah, this we can find in Ephesians 2, 6. If you have your Bible, go with me to Ephesians 2, 6. Oh, I will read from Ephesians 2, 5. The Bible says, even while, when we were still dead in trans trespasses, God made us alive with Christ. Even while we were dead in our trespasses, God made us alive with Christ. And he has raised us up together and made us to sit together with Christ in the heavenly places. God has already made you and I to sit together with Christ in the heavenly places. We are already seated with Christ in the heavenly places. So the call to come up hither is a call to re-examine your life. Because you are already seated together with Christ in the heavenly places, far above all your problems. The call today is to re-examine your life. How are you living your life? How are you living your life? Come up hither. The call is to re-examine your life. Today I was reading the Bible in the book of James and I began to see what the call of a higher calling is. If God is calling you to come up here, what is God talking about? If you are already seated together with Christ in the heavenly places. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. I was reading the book of James. And I saw a lot of things in the book of James. 
that we do us well as people who want to come up higher. These are some of the things that we need to be doing. In Philippians 3.14, the Apostle Paul said something very important. He said, brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting the things which are behind, forgetting all the valleys, all the battles, all the disappointments, forgetting everything that is behind. I reach forth, hallelujah, unto those things which are before me. The things that are before me. The Apostle Paul said, I'm going to forget about everything. Everything that is behind me. Ah, everything behind me. I'm going to forget it. Because I'm ready to lay hold of what lies ahead. Brothers and sisters. As I told you, I was reading the book of James this morning. And I began to see a lot of things that could do us well. One of the things that you need to be aware of after you have gone back to the Holy Spirit is the works of the flesh. The works of the flesh. If you are still walking in the flesh, you are not even ready to go up higher because flesh cannot enter the presence of God. Flesh is rotten. If you are going to enter the presence of God, you have to come by the new and living way through Christ Jesus. And you have to drop the flesh behind and all the works of the flesh, selfishness, wickedness, all manner of lies, all manner of manipulation, all manner of things that do not please God. Oh, the person that wants to go higher must kill the flesh. You must crucify the flesh with all its lies. It's all the things that the flesh tries to make you do. You must drop it behind. Hallelujah. The works of the flesh. One of the things I saw in the book of James is how to control your tongue. The Bible says, my brothers and sisters, do not be deceived. Hallelujah. Every good and perfect gift comes from the Father. Oh, from the Father of the heavenly light. He does not change like shifting shadows. God does not change like shifting shadows. Hallelujah. This is James chapter 1 verse 16. God does not change like shifting shadows. So if you want to walk with God, you must conform to the image and the image of God alone. James chapter 1 verses 22 says, do not merely listen to the word of God and so you deceive yourself. Do what it says. Are you doing what the word of God says? Because all of us have the spirit in us. Even when you are not working with the spirit, you can still hear the spirit. Those things you've been doing and the Holy Spirit has been telling you, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. When are you going to stop? You cannot go higher if your thoughts are not God's thoughts. If your ways are not God's ways. If your way of doing things does not align with God. God wants only good for you. God wants only what is best for you. But how is your life? Hallelujah. The life of that person that is ready to go up and to come up hither, to go up higher in God, is a life that is ruled by the word of God, not flesh. Not flesh. Flesh cannot take you anywhere. Respect and honor for life. How do you treat people? How do you really treat people? The people that come in contact with you. When I go and ask them, what are they going to tell me about you? How do you treat people? How do you treat that house girl? How do you treat that beggar? How do you treat that person on the street? Because you think you are all this and all that, you treat people anyhow. You don't have respect for anybody. How can you go up higher in God? You forget that man is God. I say man is God. Hallelujah. Man is God. You forget that man is God. You better watch out. Watch out for the way you treat people. 
God taught me early in my Christian journey that he is man. And that has guided my decisions and my actions. In 30 years of working with God, I have never treated anybody less than the way I will treat God. Because God taught me that he is man. God is in that man, that woman, that boy, that girl. God is in man. In Matthew 25, 40, we see an experience when Jesus said, people were coming. Hallelujah. I want to find that scripture. If you have your Bible, go with me to Matthew 25, 40. Matthew 25, 40. You have to be careful because man is God. How do you treat people? That will determine your harvest, your result in life. You, hallelujah. The Bible was talking about when certain people will come to Jesus. And then Jesus will say, when I was in prison, you visited me. When I was hungry, you fed me. When I was naked, you clothed me. And then they will say, the righteous will answer, Matthew, Matthew 25, verses 37. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you? When did we see you thirsty and give you water? When did we see you as a stranger and invite you in or needing clothes and clothe you? When did we see you sick or in prison and visit you? And the king will reply, Truly, whenever you did it for the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did it unto me. God sent me to tell you that the way you've been treating people, if you have not been treating people right, you are doing it to him. It's him that you are doing it to. It is him that you are doing it for. Whatever you are doing, you are doing it unto the Lord, whether good or bad, and you will get your reward. You will get your harvest in the same way you have sown. I want to encourage you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. It's time for you to stop. If you haven't been treating people right, you need to change right now. You need to start treating people right, knowing that they are God, knowing that man is God. And as you treat people, that's how God Almighty will honor and respect you also in the name of Jesus. I remember daughter Amara, I, hallelujah, when she saw, she said, mommy, I dare still people like you in this world today. Let me tell you, let somebody be able to say that. Is there still somebody like you today? Because you go out of your world way to bless somebody you go out of your way to make a difference in somebody's life you go out of your way to make someone else shine without thinking that if someone else shines you you will not shine you think that if you help somebody else then you will fall short no 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 when i help somebody to 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 succeed i am happy because i'm doing it for the lord i am doing it for the kingdom i am doing it for the glory of god stop that hanky panky stop all those games because god is not interested god only wants to see what are you going to do that problem came to your hearing what did you do about it that brother or sister is suffering is in need what did you do about it you there is a thing that you can do to help somebody else but because of selfishness you keep it to yourself you have information that can bless somebody's life but you keep it to yourself let me tell you if you are ready to go up hither if you are ready to go up higher you must change the way you treat people because man is God I say man is God the way you treat people we determine what will come back your lifting will be done by men if you are ready if you have sown enough seed you will be lifted God will send you the helper and the lifter of your destiny if you make up your mind that you're gonna bless lives you're gonna be a blessing the person that wants to go up here should remember that you are already seated together with Christ but that your position, that position of kingship that God has given to you, what are you doing with it? How are you blessing lives? How are you touching lives with what you have? That is what God sent me to tell you in the name of Jesus. You're going to go up either. You're going to go up higher. But going up higher, you have to clean up. You have to clean up the foundation. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, our God is a faithful God. Hallelujah. There are so many people in the Bible 
people that went up higher. If you are seeking the high calling, if you seek the high calling of God, it is not just an ordinary call. It's a special call. It requires you going beyond. You have to go beyond what is considered acceptable in this day and age into a life of surrender to the will of God. You must be willing to suffer. You must be willing to endure all things. You must be willing to pay the price for Christ's sake. You must be willing. Those who answer the call of a high calling in God are people who are called out. They are ready to suffer for Christ in the high calling of God. Every fiber of your spiritual being wants to be perfect in holiness. God said, be ye holy, for I, your Father, I am holy. First Peter 1 Peter 1.6, in the high calling, hallelujah, when you are called with a high calling, you will never be satisfied with anything less than the perfect holiness of God. I encourage you, it's time to clean up. You must become perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. Serving the Lord with all humility, you must be ready to be humble, but not in a pretentious way, for God judges the heart. I say God judges the heart. For, hallelujah, the Apostle Paul said, forgetting what is behind, I stretch forth towards the mark of a high calling in Christ Jesus. I can't go more than this because my time is far gone. Hallelujah. But I want to encourage you. Begin to pray. Father, I am ready. I am ready. I am ready. Begin to pray. I am ready. Get up and pray with me. For the day, 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 day. I'm ready to go higher. I'm ready to say yes to the mark of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Let me tell you that high calling will cost you. It is not cheap. It is not free. I have been there. I know what it cost me to be where I am standing today and I begin to declare healing. I stand for healing. Pray, pray, pray. Pray with me. Father, I pray for your people. You will give them the strength, even as they strive to go higher in you, that you will help them to hold on to the truth, to hold on to the truth, to hold on to the truth. For only the truth is the visa and the passport that can take you higher. Only the truth, only the truth, only the truth. Begin to pray. Pray for yourself. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. Our God is faithful. I bless you all in the name of Jesus. I love you. And I wish I'm there with you. But don't worry, January, you will see me live. I can hug all of you and kiss all of you and bless all of you in the name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you and continue to keep you and to continue to make his face to shine upon all of you in the name of Jesus. I bless you. Hallelujah. Blessed be God. Blessed be God in the name of Jesus. Our God is faithful. I love you. I bless you. Thank you, Jesus. I know we have a book to launch. We have a book to launch. There is a book launch today. We thank God for that. We worship God for that. And I want to encourage you all that God is able to do for you what he has done for daughter Amara. Hallelujah. God bless you all. In the name of Jesus. Amen.